Happy Wednesday, everyone. I was thinking about my devotion and what I'd like to talk about. And the, the thing that uh, came to me was, where is my space? Where is my go-to for connecting directly to God? And of course, I mean, I could think of uh, a number of places that um, in my everyday life, the spending time with my son, with my family, uh, with walks in nature, all, all of your, your, your go-tos. But I think the, the, the original connection for me that I found was through music. I'm Captain Obvious. But um, so I thought for this devotion that I would play some music. Um, but you have to hear that all the time. So I thought on this day that I would read the words of another fine fellow, um, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. He wrote a poem called The Singers. And a shout out to my wife, Carrie, for finding the poem because it is perfect. The Singers. God sent his singers upon the earth with songs of sadness and of mirth that they might touch the hearts of men and bring them back to heaven again. The first, a youth with soul of fire, held in his hand a golden lyre. Through groves he wandered and by streams, playing the music of our dreams. The second, with a bearded face, stood singing in the marketplace and stirred with accents deep and loud the hearts of all the listening crowd. A gray old man, the third and last, sang in cathedrals dim and vast, while the majestic organ rolled, contrition from its mouth of gold. And those who heard the singers three disputed which the best might be, for still their music seemed to start discordant echoes in each heart. But the great master said, I see no best in kind, but in degree. I gave a various gift to each, to charm, to strengthen, and to teach. These are the three great chords of might, and he whose ear is tuned aright will hear no discord in the three, but the most perfect harmony. <laughs>